Today I'm going to be doing my college football playoff rankings. We had a lot of stuff happen this week. Number two, Penn State lost to number six, Ohio State, 38-39 to in a crazy comeback win. Number four, TCU lost to Iowa State, where it was ranked 25, 14-7. Uh, my number one team is Georgia. Uh, I know that the committee wouldn't do this, but Jake Fromm is having a fantastic year. 62% completion percentage, 1,100 yards, 12 TDs, 3 interceptions. They have a 454 yards average a game, 252 yards allowed an, uh, on average. One, They have only one game under 31 points, and that was against Notre Dame, and they did win that game. At my number two, I have Alabama. Jalen Hurts, 1,200 yards, 9 TDs, 1 interception. They have 499 average yards a game and 236 average yards allowed a game. Uh, the reason I have a number two and not one number one is they've had a pretty weak schedule. They haven't played any ranked opponents this year except for Florida State, who's not ranked anymore, who's like two and five. Uh, that's why I have a number two. Now, they do play LSU next week, who's ranked 25, 23, I believe, and that's why I have a number two. Number three, I have... Ohio State. I have them jumping Wisconsin with the win over Penn State. JT Barrett is making his case for the Heisman uh, Trophy, and he has 1,800 yards, 21 TDs, one interception, not accounting for the stats he had this week. Uh, 67% completion percentage. Their front seven is playing fantastic. They shut down Barkley with only 21 carries for 44 yards and one touchdown. Uh, the thing I worry most about their uh, team is their Special teams who allowed uh, Saquon Barkley to have a kickoff return the very kick the very start of the game. With number four, I have Wisconsin. Uh, Alex Hornerbrook, 1,400 yards, 13 TDs, seven interceptions. Jonathan Taylor, another Heisman candidate, 1,100 yards, 11 TDs, with uh, 462 yards average a game for their team and 265 yards allowed uh, a game as well. We, their, we, their schedule is pretty weak, That's and most of their games have been pretty close. That's why I have a number four. I would have them higher, but they have, they've they have only played some uh, some weak competition. Number five, I have Notre Dame. Now, they have been playing fantastic. Walford has 10 TDs, two interceptions, 1,200 yards. They're, they're averaging 475 yards a game, 361 yards allowed a game. They have some great wins over uh, ranked opponents, and they've blown out a, a lot of ranked opponents. Their only loss going to number two, Georgia by one point at the beginning of the year. That's why I have number five, and I do have them jumping Clemson. Uh, at number six, I have Clemson. Kelly Bryant, four TDs, four interceptions. He has been struggling with some injuries uh, the past few weeks. He had, uh, they're averaging 449 yards a game, 289 yards allowed a game. They have a lot of close games uh, against unranked opponents. That's why I have number six. I just I don't know how well their QB uh, is going to be able to be able to play, and that's why I have number six.